Today, we're in the herd with men's and women's cross country. The bison are back on campus and have already participated in day one of their 2016 practice regimen. Coach Kevin Donner says that with the summer being the longest break from team practice for distance runners, it always feels good to get back in the swing of things. Trust me, we coaches, we, we love the break, we need the break. And, but I'll tell you what, when uh, end of July rolls around, beginning of August, uh, we coaches start to get that itch. It's starting to get to be cross country season. We get a little excited about the students moving back on campus and writing out our, our season plans and well, here we are. 2015 was another great season for his women's team as they won the school's ninth ever Patriot League cross country title. But Donner says that repeating is never easy. We returned the bulk of our team from last year, including our top three runners. I think we, retur we returned uh, four all Patriot League uh, runners from cross country. But uh, I'll tell you what, I saw some really good uh, freshmen throughout the league last year that are going to be sophomores and we're definitely going to be challenged. Senior Sarah Chandler, who finished fourth in the Patriot League Cross Country Championships last year and became Bucknell's first regional selection since 2006, says that every season's team is a little different than the past. But she's hoping that she will be able to provide the leadership needed this year for the team to remain on top. I think just being an upperclassman in general, junior, senior, I mean even sophomores, everyone's kind of looking up to you um, in different ways, whether you're running extremely well or just ex how you hold yourself um, being on the team. Um, being a senior, I definitely, I think I internally feel maybe a little bit more, but I don't know if it's necessarily just me putting that on myself. Um, but I do think that people look up to you no matter what you're doing. You're part of a team, so you're close-knit friends and everything. Obviously, Chandler wants to run even better this season, but she says that won't be possible without help. I think a huge aspect is obviously not only listening to Coach Donner and training as hard as I can, but to also just believe in myself like mentally and just believe in my training and believe in my coaches and believe in my team. I mean, they're there for me on and off the track. Um, whether they're running next to me or cheering for me, and I think that's huge. I know personally that that really, really helps me. On the men's side, Coach Donner hopes the team can use the momentum from a good finish in the Mid-Atlantic Regional and Patriot League indoors and outdoors to wash the bad taste out of their mouth after a tough finish at the Patriot League Cross Country Championships. No, we did not perform at the Patriot League uh, Championships last year, and in my opinion, these guys should have a chip on their shoulder, and they should be... Um, you know, hungry to, to get back out there and do some damage. One senior who definitely agrees with Coach Donner is Luke Giuliano. He says he trained this off season in Colorado and he trained very hard. It was a challenging summer, but I think definitely my best summer of training I've had yet. Uh, I think I'm already leaps and bounds ahead of where I was last year, so I, I really can't wait to start racing for the team. Giuliano not only gets the job done as an athlete, but also as a student, earning academic All-Patriot leg and academic All-American honors. However, he obviously wants more this year. It is third team academic All-American, so of course it's, it's exciting to get and it's exciting to show my parents and relatives, but uh, of course I'll be going for first team this year. Buckdale's first competition is at home. It's in early September and it's the Bison Open.